Hello everybody. Welcome to the Thanksgiving edition of the Weekend Sports Report. I'm Danny Udero, sports editor of the Silver City Sun News. And today it's all about football. Thanksgiving, it's a beautiful time of year, but not only that, it's also dreams for high school football players to be participating during this week. Normally, this signifies semifinal week of the New Mexico High School State Football Championships, and that's exactly what's going on. And we are fortunate enough to still have Silver High School in the semifinals, and we finally get to see Cobre High School participate this week, and they are also in the semifinals of the Class 4A State Football Championships. We're gonna kick off really quick with Silver High School. They rolled last week over Portales, big win. They are looking very good. They are gonna be at home and host number three, excuse me, number two, Rio Doso High School. Your Colts are number three seed in this tournament. So, a lot to talk about. This is the third straight year that, Col that Silver High and Rio Doso meet up in the state playoffs. And as we all know, the last two years, Silver High School has taken victories and moved on to the state championship. So a lot at stake uh, for this game. This game will take place Saturday at noon, Silver High School, gates open, 10 a.m. Need to get there, get a seat. This is gonna be a slobber knocker. Rio Doso is coming into this, this game with a 59-28 win over St. Mike's. Their senior quarterback, Kate Patterson, has thrown for 2,190 yards tossed 23 touchdowns to just three interceptions. Sophomore running back Cisco Mayville has rushed for 1,029 yards and has scored 15 touchdowns. This is again Rio Doso's third straight year in the final four. And Silver has eliminated the Warriors the past two years. Patterson last week tossed 192 yards and had four touchdowns. But the man we're gonna talk about, the, their playmaker, Parker Johnson. This kid had 84 receiving yards, 60 rushing yards, 150 yards on returns, including a 76 yard kickoff return for a touchdown. And that's just, uh, this kid is, is the one you're gonna have to look out for. I talked with Coach Butch Branson of Silver High. He told me when um, Parker Johnson is on the field, he draws attention. A lot of times he's used as a decoy, but when he's not the decoy, he's out there running the football, catching the football. This kid is just a phenomenal player. But let me tell you one thing, Silver High has a defense that has been a staple all year. This defense has been tough, and look for this defense to really, really put a dent on Rio Doso's offense. Offensively for the Colts, last week we saw the trio of Scotty Donovan, Frankie Castillo, and DJ Bly get to work in that contest. Um, that, that rushing game, the one, two, three punch was just phenomenal in the first half. They really took over the ball game. But what I liked about last week's game was quarterback Zach Hasso came out, rolled out of the pocket and hit some receivers in particular, Jeremiah Burke, who also caught a nice touchdown pass. Hasso looked good, comfortable. And uh, he also had, had some good rushing yards. He was able to scramble around. So this game is gonna be a slobber knocker. It's gonna be 12 p.m., which is noontime on Saturday, just in time for, for all you shoppers to get out after your Black Friday itch. Get out there Saturday, see some prep football, semifinals, winner moves on to the state championship, Silver High looking to get there for their third straight year. Now let's discuss Cobra High School. Pulled off a mild upset over Bloomfield last week. In my eyes, not a mild upset. I knew the Indians could do it, and they just went out there and did exactly that. In this contest, quarterback Kevin Roberson, we all know, is a great passing quarterback. He had a rough time passing the football, but that took away from nothing because the Indians rushed the football. Roberson had some great, some great yards on the ground, and uh, of course, a big receiver for him is Michael Pena. These two are, need to connect, and in my eyes, Hatch Valley is the team that Cobre High is going to play. They also pulled off an upset against number one Robertson last week. We all knew that was going to happen. So for once, the Indians are not the underdogs. They actually are seated higher than the Bears. But coming into this contest, one thing that the Bears have is momentum and confidence. They just knocked off the number one, the number one seed. And Jack Sisko over in Hatch Valley said that 
He is um, doing a phenomenal job. He expected the battle to be won in the trenches, and that's something that's gonna be key for this contest. Cobre High is gonna have to win this battle in the trenches. They're gonna have to provide some time for Kevin to throw the football. They're also gonna have to open up some holes, and that's just something that we're gonna have to look forward to. The uh, Indians are gonna have to get that ground game going. They did a really good job with that last week, and that's something that head coach Jerry Martinez has been working on. It's been a progress over and over, week in, week out. And I think they finally were able to prove that against a tough Bloomfield team last year. And uh, hopefully we're looking at that on Saturday. Again, prep football Saturday, Cobre High will be at home hosting Hatch Valley. That game's 1.30 p.m. So Indian fans, get out there, get a seat, grab some popcorn, grab a Dr. Pepper, you know, shake off those Thanksgiving blues because this prep football weekend is going to be wild. Once again, it's semifinal action, and wouldn't we like to see another rematch? Cobre High, Silver High, it'll be a flip of the coin if they both win to see who hosts the state championship game. Again, Cobre High has already beaten the Bears this year. It was a 21-10 victory, and uh, Silver and Rio Doso have not met. They do have a common opponent where uh, Rio Doso beat Lovington pretty handily, and Silver High dropped that game to Lovington, a game that they should have won. So good luck to all teams. Once again, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys are enjoying some football today with your family and friends. And uh, we need to get out there Saturday. Look for Sunday's edition of my weekend sports report. I will have the entire wrap up of all the games along with some photos. So long everybody.